Sakurajima erupts. Japan's volcanic giant sends ash four kilometers high, signaling renewed activity beneath the Ring of Fire, Kagoshima, Japan. In the early hours of the morning, Japan's Sakurajima volcano erupted with enough force to send a dense column of ash nearly 4.4 kilometers into the atmosphere, the tallest plume recorded there in more than a year. The first blast came at around 1 a.m., followed by further explosions at 2.30 and 8.50 a.m. Within nine hours, three eruptions had disrupted air traffic, coating parts of Kagoshima Prefecture in gray ash and prompting Japan's meteorological agency, JMA, to issue immediate warnings. Flights in and out of Kagoshima Airport were canceled as ash drifted northeast toward Miyazaki Prefecture. Residents reported falling ash thick enough to reduce visibility and leave streets, cars, and roofs dusted in fine particles. Authorities said no injuries were reported, but the scale of the eruption, particularly the height of the plume, drew attention from volcanologists across the Pacific. It was the first eruption exceeding four kilometers since early last year, a sign that fresh magma has likely risen into the system beneath southern Kyushu. Pressure building. Beneath Japan, Sakurajima's sudden uptick in energy points to a deeper process at work, shifts in the massive tectonic plates grinding far below Japan. The country sits directly above the meeting point of three major plates, the Pacific Plate, the Philippine Sea Plate, and the Eurasian Plate. These slabs do not merely touch, they collide with enough pressure to reshape coastlines and build mountain ranges. Beneath southern Japan, the Philippine Sea Plate is sliding under the Eurasian Plate in a process called subduction. As it descends, parts of that plate melt into magma. The magma, being lighter than surrounding rock, rises through cracks in the crust and collects in underground chambers. Sakurajima was created by exactly that process. When pressure in its magma chambers rises faster than it can dissipate through small vents, gas and molten rock are released outward in explosive bursts. The plate's motion at these boundaries never stops. They move centimeters each year, but the accumulated pressure can suddenly express itself in events like this week's eruption. A constantly watched volcano. Situated on the edge of Kagoshima Bay, Sakurajima is one of Japan's most monitored volcanoes. It is also among the world's most active, frequently ejecting gas and ash. Residents are used to minor events, small explosions that send wisps a kilometer or two into the air. But once the plume rises above four kilometers, scientists take notice. Eruptions of that height indicate a sudden release of stored pressure and the potential involvement of deeper, more volatile magma. The Japan Meteorological Agency maintains a dense network of sensors on and around Sakurajima, seismic detectors to pick up tremors, tilt meters to detect ground deformation, and instruments that measure gas emissions, especially sulfur dioxide. When all three indicators rise together, renewed magma ascent is almost certain. In the hours before the latest eruption, local seismic activity had been slightly elevated, though not at alarming levels. That means the outburst likely came from a moderate but rapid injection of gas-charged magma rising from depth enough to push the eruption column into the stratosphere. The Ring of Fire. Activity rising along the Pacific boundary. The timing of Sakurajima's powerful eruption comes amid noticeable unrest elsewhere around the Ring of Fire. The 40,000 kilometer arc of volcanoes and fault lines that circles the Pacific Ocean. About three quarters of the world's volcanoes sit on this rim, which marks the boundaries of major tectonic plates. Over recent weeks, Alaska's Shishaldin volcano produced multiple explosive ash plumes. Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula recorded several high-intensity eruptions visible from orbit. Across Indonesia, eruptions occurred on multiple islands, forcing evacuations and air traffic reroutes. Smaller bursts have been noted elsewhere along Japan's volcanic chain. These events are not directly connected, but they share a common driver the continuous release of tectonic energy as plates shift. 
Increased seismic stress along one segment of the ring can redistribute pressure elsewhere, subtly influencing volcanic systems thousands of kilometers apart. This global alignment of activity suggests that the Pacific boundary is in a somewhat more active phase. It does not mean the ring of fire is awakening in any catastrophic sense. Rather, it shows Earth is venting its normal cyclical energy more vigorously this year. Understanding the Mechanics When oceanic plates descend beneath continental ones, heat and friction melt hydrated rock within the subducted slab. This melt rises, gathers in magma reservoirs, and interacts with crustal rocks as it ascends. Gas trapped inside that magma, mainly water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur, expands violently as pressure decreases near the surface, driving explosive eruptions. Sakurajima's vent sits barely 10 kilometers from the urban center of Kagoshima, which means even moderate eruptions have immediate consequences. The volcano's ash can contain tiny, glassy fragments capable of damaging engines and electronics, which explains the preemptive cancellation of dozens of flights. Meteorologists launched specialized ash forecast models during the event to predict drift direction and concentration. These models are similar to those used following major eruptions in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Iceland, ensuring that aircraft avoid invisible ash layers at high altitude. Signs of a short-term shift. The pattern seen over the past day. Three eruptions within nine. Hours with the highest plume in over a year indicates that Sakurajima could be entering a transient phase of heightened activity. Volcanoes often move through cycles of quiet degassing, followed by clusters of more energetic outbursts. Each cycle reflects how magma and gas move through the system. Once new magma enters, pressure builds, causing several eruptions in succession until the system stabilizes again. Monitoring data show small but measurable inflation of the ground surface near the volcano's Showa crater, meaning magma may still be accumulating. Sulfur dioxide output has also increased, which supports the idea of fresh magma feeding upward from depth. While authorities emphasize that no large eruption appears imminent, Scientists will watch whether similar plumes occur again in the coming days or weeks. Sustained tall columns and higher seismic frequencies would indicate a deeper reactivation. Living near persistent hazard. Kagoshima's residents are accustomed to regular ash fall. Schools keep emergency kits for cleanup, and city authorities operate dedicated ash collection trucks. Locals rely on real-time alerts from JMA which provide ashfall maps showing which neighborhoods may be affected based on wind direction. Despite its risks, Sakurajima is also the subject of extensive scientific collaboration. Researchers from Japanese universities, the U.S. Geological Survey, and other organizations exchange data to refine prediction models. Every mid-sized eruption adds new detail to the understanding of how volcanic pressure evolves, how gas emissions change before eruptions, and how quickly magma reservoirs recharge. The information is vital because Japan hosts more than 100 active volcanoes, many close to populated regions. Sophisticated early warnings and evacuation planning have already saved lives during past events, including larger eruptions in the country's south and central regions. Regional context. The recent wave of volcanic unrest across the Pacific is also occurring alongside an uptick in moderate seismic activity. The Philippine Plate and Pacific Plate are both moving a few centimeters westward per year, but when either accelerates slightly, the results can ripple through subduction zones that ring the ocean basin. Such shifts increase stress in deep crustal faults, as well as in the magma plumbing feeding nearby volcanoes. Scientists currently see similar short-term rises in eruptive frequency in the Kuril Islands, Kamchatka, and parts of Indonesia consistent with a modest tightening of the global stress field along the Pacific Rim. However, experts caution against interpreting these scattered eruptions as evidence of a single, spreading event. Volcanic systems respond to local conditions, pressure, gas content, fault geometry, even though the underlying cause, tectonic motion, is shared. What happens next? Over the next several days, meteorologists will 
Continue to track the direction and density of ash clouds from Sakurajima. Volcanologists will analyze seismic readings for low-frequency tremors that could indicate additional magma ascent. So far, no significant ground deformation or dramatic increase in tremor amplitude has been recorded, meaning the immediate hazard level remains localized. Still, the volcano's alert status stays elevated and access to certain areas around the summit is restricted. Experts expect intermittent explosions to continue. Light ash fall over nearby cities may persist depending on wind patterns. If magma keeps rising, another large plume event could follow within days or weeks. The Japan Meteorological Agency maintains that such activity, while disruptive, fits within the historical pattern of Sakurajima's behavior. The volcano has been erupting frequently for over a century, alternating between quiet degassing and bursts of several kilometers in height. The broader implication. The recent eruption is a reminder that Japan's southern arc remains highly dynamic. The same tectonic forces that built the islands continue to operate, driving both seismic and volcanic events. For local residents, each major plume is less a surprise than a confirmation. The plates beneath Japan are moving, and the crust above them is responding. For global observers, Sakurajima's renewed vigor adds to the growing dataset on how volcanoes along the Ring of Fire behave when regional pressure fluctuates. Ash columns above 4 kilometers are particularly valuable indicators of internal change because they reveal how much energy is being released at depth. If similar long plumes appear across multiple volcanoes in quick succession, as seen this season, it implies the Pacific system is undergoing a period of heightened tectonic activity. That does not translate into imminent disaster. It simply reinforces what geologists have long known. The Pacific margins operate on a continuous cycle of pressure accumulation and release. At the moment, that cycle is in a more active phase. A planet still in motion. Sakurajima's latest eruption highlights the constant negotiation between Earth's internal heat and its surface stability. The pressures driving these events are the same forces that shaped Japan's mountains, raised its islands from the sea, and continue to adjust its landscape millimeter by millimeter each year. In the coming days, residents will sweep ash from doorsteps while monitoring updates from the meteorological agency. Airlines will track the clearing skies to resume flights, and beneath it all, the planet's slow mechanical process, plates grinding, slabs sinking, magma rising, will go on. The event is a clear signal. The ring of fire remains active. The Philippine and Pacific plates remain on the move. And Sakurajima, Japan's most closely watched volcano, is once again reminding the region that the forces shaping it have never been still.